Hi there, I'm Violet Van Hees and this is Grow Your Movement Freedom. Welcome. So today I'm carrying through with a, a theme that I started in my last video, which is looking at how our body intelligence can work with an idea or a concept to give us um, new ways of exploring how to find comfort and strength and freedom in a movement. That might not work if we're just using our little brains trying to think through step by step what needs to happen. And today I'm going to focus on a movement in my legs that has been particularly important for me for the last two years and might be for you if you have knee issues at all. So this particular movement that I'm uh, going to show you today is something that became really important for me when I injured, I fell on my knee two years ago, and I actually ended up rupturing a knee ligament in there, which is still ruptured. I've ruptured my posterior cruciate ligament. And um, I'm waiting for surgery for it, but in the meantime, I'm finding the best function I can in my leg. And for me, the way it works best, instead of trying to think about I have to do this, do that, do this, do that in my knee is to think about my knee as a column of bone that's supported by a lovely tube of muscles and tissue that can help provide the support. So it's that idea of a tube that's all the way around the leg to give me support. So I'm going to show you my leg a little bit just to give you an image of the leg doing something. I'm going to talk a bit while I'm doing this and then I'll come back up to where you can see my face. So we're just going to bring it down. Turn the camera down. There we go. So when I'm doing this, I think about my leg as an actual tube. It's almost like wearing tights, like I have on here, right? So a nice sort of stretchy support that's all the way around all sides of the leg. And I feel the containment of that a little bit. It's as if, if I get some support, light support, like wearing neoprene. One of my clients said, oh, it's like wearing a neoprene sleeve around my leg, right? And for me, I just imagine the whole leg being a bit like that. And I imagine the support from all sides on my leg, as if it's tights or a neoprene sleeve. And when I do that, my leg feels very different than if I imagine a particular muscle group that I have to do something with, um, or trying to use my quads or use this or that. It's sort of like all the muscles get to work in the way they're designed to work best, which is as teamwork. Our body is built to have the front and the back of our body work as a team to help support the joints, to help the joints move in space, to have support for the front of the joint and the back of the joint um, are held in alignment so the bones are lined up nicely. And because I'm missing a ligament right now, I need some extra help keeping the bones lined up. So I'm imagining this tube and I'm thinking about the tube doing its job of helping my bones stay lined up so that every time I step, any time I need to find the support of that leg, which is every time I step, I get that sense of the whole tube is working as a team to help the leg find that support. And it kind of provides an external um, sleeve around the joint since the internal sleeve is somewhat compromised and it works. So for me, as long as I'm consciously using that sleeve, it provides good support. And so it's one way to help your body find um, support in ways that might feel intuitive rather than really technical. And I, I find my body actually likes to work like that. It likes to work with a sensation of an overall um, idea. And it puts that into work without my brain having to do too much. It's sort of like my body knows it. My brain can just go along for the ride or sort of become aware. The job of my brain is to bring some awareness and let the body do the work. So as the tip for this week, I invite you to explore and tap into the intelligence of your own body to help you in this kind of way. It might be for your leg, it might be for your knee. Lots of people have knee things going on, right? It could be in the arm, same kind of thing. If, if you needed something where the shoulder is sore or the elbow is sore, I might think about the whole column or length of support through here, through the shoulder and down into the base of support that I talked about last week. Right, so the shoulder gets to be part of a long sleeve of muscle and bone and tissue that helps support something. So that no one joint ends up doing more than its fair share of work. Basically, the joint is a transfer point. The joint is the place where the work goes through to get somewhere else to eventually get to the ground or to your base of support so that you can 
push against something or pull with something to create movement for yourself. So have fun playing with this. Enjoy exploring how smart your body can be in terms of actually organizing something. Once your brain gets the basic idea and the brain brings the awareness to the area to say, okay, let's see if we can create something good here and let the body do the creating for you and see what happens. And do this carefully and with awareness so that you're sensing whether what you're trying out feels safe, whether it feels safe in your body, whether it feels reasonable to do, and whether it's useful. Those three questions, always. And if something doesn't feel safe or reasonable or useful, adjust it, do something else, or go to something that gives you that sense of safe, reasonable, and useful. Okay? So have fun with this. If you have any questions or you'd like more information, give me a call or send me an email. My contact information is right below here. I always love to hear from you. Have fun with this and we'll see you next time. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.